Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. In this tutorial, we're going to learn about the bevel modifier in 3D Studio Max. Now, if we create any geometry in Max and go to the modify panel and modify list, you see after bend there is no bevel modifier, or you don't find any any bevel modifier in, uh, in that list because uh, bevel actually don't work on the geometries. So for using the bevel you have to create a uh, uh, shape now here I have created max text under the uh, shape options there is a text and by default that's max max text so I've just created max text and after selecting max text go to the modify panel and modify list you'll see after the bend you'll see be bevel and bevel profile these two modifiers are there now what is that uh, bevel and bevel Profile. Now, bevel profile. We'll uh, cover this uh, modify in the next uh, uh, lecture. In this lecture, we'll only concentrate on bevel. Now, if I apply the bevel modifier in the max text, what will happen? Uh, it's just filling it up. Now, it's just filling it up. It's something like extrude, but uh, it is not exactly like. There are there are lots of parameters out there in in bevel option. You can see. Now uh, I will cover these uh, options, uh, a few important options over from here. But uh, I'll just move down uh, first of all. And in the bevel values, you'll find the level one, level two, and level three. Whereas the level two and level three, I can switch on and off. Whereas the level one is a compulsory or the base level of the modifier. Now level one, if I Increase the height value. You, you can see a uh, straight away the uh, the text is actually you know extruding. So this is something uh, like extrude. But what is the what is a positive thing is that uh, after extruding, I can use the outline to you know increase the scale or decrease the scale level. So that is the most important one because I cannot do that in the extrude option there is no option out there so first of all oops sorry just increase too much okay I'll just increasing this this much fine after that uh, now I'm going to switch on the level 2 which is the most important one uh, I, if I switch on uh, the level 2 there's nothing happen but whenever I'm uh, increase the height value you'll see it's again extruding so if I hit F4 in the keyboard and you can see that the oops, that this much amount is actually happened for the level 1 and this is the level 2 here even you can use the outline to you know uh, use the design to create any kind of design something like this so that is that is how you can uh, Totally control of this modifier. Totally in control of this modifier. You can you can uh, you know bend the values any way you want. It's up to your designs. So <clears throat> I'm not right now. I'm not you know, using the outline on the level two. Again on the level three, I'm switch off the switch on the level three and I'm increasing the level three. So you see the the subdivisions over here. I'm just. Uh, put, pressing J for the uh, bounding box thing so <coughs> so uh, you see th this last extrusion is actually happened for the level 3 and after that you can really decrease the level 3 to match up this uh, you know this design this is coming up this then flat then actually bend down so this is kind of effects you can give it to your text or any kind of shape you want because uh, but this one I, I prefer for the for the logo animations or any kind of titling 3d titling you do uh, it's very very intuitive and very effective to use uh, in this kind of presentation so <coughs> And now the thing is, uh, I I want to make this uh, this extrusion or edges uh, like smooth. So for creating that, uh, there is an option up there in the parameter section which that is called curved sides. If you hit curved sides, nothing is happened. Why? Because there is no segment. I have to increase the segment. And the moment you increase the segment, you will see the curvature is actually happening. So after that, you you'll have the very perfect uh, smooth edged uh, you know the uh, text and you can do really nice animation cool animation 
our uh, things with the with the bevel and you can switch off the capping also you can switch on and off if if you uh, if you don't want them you can you, you want the light coming through through the uh, text then you can switch off the uh, cappings uh, uh, now the thing is this uh, there's another option uh, if uh, uh, now now let's talk about the uh, levels in a different way uh, I'm just switching uh, off the uh, levels and again I'm uh, switch on the levels in a very uh, different way I I first of all I don't want to be increased the lines should be increased it, it will be to be decreased in a negative way and I will just uh, okay I'm just reducing the amount and then after uh, after that I will just uh, switch on the uh, level 2 and you can see immediately it's creating a a kind of an uh, you know uh, kind of a uh, concave uh, kind of thing so that is that is very exciting uh, you know while creating uh, the effects and even after the uh, three you can see you, you just play with the with the curvatures it's you, you just can do a lot of things uh, through the curvatures even you can uh, go up and press it so uh, again you can have the uh, concave uh, kind of mesh which which is very easy to make and uh, here uh, you can see there is a there is an uh, there is another interesting thing whenever you are creating some concave or, or some difficult uh, mesh patterns you will see the uh, intersections actually happening uh, if you go to the f3 if you press f3 you, you can you can easily see there is this uh, Mount is actually intersecting the the mesh, so I can I can really uh, oops sorry I can really uh, cut off that thing. But there is an option called intersections and keep lines from crossing. That that is the most important one. If you switch on immediately, you can see, you can see the effects. See, it will manage how much you you want the separation from the from the crossings so this is really cool uh, uh, thing uh, for the uh, for the text effects and uh, and the things and even it's it's you can you can use uh, some other modifiers through on it like bend if, if I want bend and uh, just uh, increase the bend and you can see you can uh, really uh, create some cool effects with the uh, with the uh, you know the <coughs> the text and you see there's a absolutely fantastic uh, uh, things coming out and after that you can uh, animate this thing uh, uh, with the with with different animations and other other options like bend and other uh, modifiers so uh, i hope you, you enjoy the uh, tutorial and uh, i hope you can use this uh, modifier in a very uh, versatile uh, way in your projects so thank you very much